Let's face it, sometimes we all need a little help looking our best. This week's Mom Boss helps people navigate their day to day looks while navigating busy schedules and building a business with two young children. Through her company, Wardrobe Therapy, Elizabeth Smith's business is making you look good. When you look good, you feel good. We all know that when we're dressed for that part, whatever role we're playing in our everyday lives, it makes such a difference on how you display and your confidence and really make you feel like a million bucks. And that includes moms both in and out of the office. They're trying to get used to their shape and understand you know, um, they might be nursing, they might be post-nursing, they, they could be, you know, 10 months after baby, they could be three years after baby, and just trying to figure out what their new style is so that they feel comfortable while they're having fun with their children. As a mom, Elizabeth can relate. She also relates to the need for flexibility for her busy clients. The more you're available and there and flexible for your clients, they also, you know, give back that grace to you. Being flexible also means being willing to ask for help with her own family. You know, when the kids were little, we, we had somebody that came into our home and that, you know, reliability was so important to our family because, and she really helped us to grow our business and has no idea, you know, that she did because we knew the kids were happy and well taken care of and that allows you, as you know, to do your job well then. But even Elizabeth admits sometimes asking for that help is easier said than done. I, Initially, you think I have to do this. If I'm working, I also have to be this incredible mom here and I have to make sure that I'm attending everything I can and, and being at every moment and not missing a thing. And in the beginning, I don't know if I juggled it all that great. I think I applied pressure to myself that I didn't even realize was there. We're harder as moms on ourselves than your children ever are. That is so, so true. Elizabeth encourages parents to build a village. Things like carpool, help each other out, and don't beat yourself up for not being there for every single minute of every day. You can go online to see my rapid fire questions with Elizabeth about how she manages to help keep herself present and prepared. And one of the things that she doesn't do well that she doesn't beat herself up over. And it is something that I think a lot of parents can relate to. And, you know, as a mom, you do, you beat yourself up over so many things. And the reality is your kids probably don't even recognize the no. things that you're so stressed out about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say, I mean, I agree. That's all I got to say. You know what? I know as soon as we get out of this story, you're going to be like, you need to listen to these advice yourself. I've been saying this on air a couple of times. It's easier said than done, I know, folks. I know. I know. <laughs> easier but said than done. Them. I know. You got to listen. You got to listen. <laughs> hey, if you know a mom boss who's balancing entrepreneurship while raising a family, we would love to know about that person and feature them. Email us your suggestions at mday at wcmh.com, or you can also connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, hit me on Instagram, wherever you are.